Hi hi campers, tis I, Ladaz, again. Uh, yeah, I've not put a video out for a few weeks, so I've just been feeling, well, really under the weather. I had a stinking cold. I've been in and out of hospital with various bits and pieces, although the good news is, first surgery is the 8th of March. That, that's not on the shoulders, that's something entirely different. The shoulders are getting uh, steroid injections. I don't think it's doing a lot, but that's the course they want to take. So, uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm at at the moment. So, I've been a bit quiet because just haven't been feeling it. Got a channel sponsor for this one, look at that. Graham, Kobe, Koi. If you haven't checked him out, go and check him out. Also does a rather nice little channel mug. Now that is how you do a slurp for Skeggy. Silence. Wonderful. So, uh, yeah, I've not been up to much with the ponds or anything like that. Um, just keeping up with routine maintenance. Uh, put about two kilos of blanket answer in the main pond uh, yesterday. Um, not that the blanket was particularly growing, but there is still some left over from last year, so I want to try and get on top of that before it explodes like it did last year. And I ended up with pulling out God knows how many wheelbarrows of uh, blanket weed. I've got the old uh, merch top on that uh, Paul got me, Paul Smith that is, uh, the man, the myth, the legend from Boston, quite snazzy isn't it, can you see that, Skidness Pond Supplies on there, um, yeah, and uh, that's all I've been up to really, apart from usual stuff with the kids and the family and everything else, it's been a little bit of a quiet time, but uh, Hopefully when the weather warms up a bit, I'm actually going to get my filter house built. Which has only been three or four years in the making. Just haven't had time to do it. But we'll see what happens this year. So what do I want to talk about today? Ball valves. Gate valves. Um, really, because I had someone say on their channel the other day, I think it was Aid the Koi Keeper. If you haven't checked him out. Go and check him out. He's uh, real build his pond with Phil Telford Coy, doing a cracking job. And he said something about might have to replace his ball valve. Um, and it was going to cost 125 quid for a ball valve. Oh, okay. So um, yeah, four-inch ball valves. If you've never seen a four-inch ball valve. That's the size of a four inch ball valve. It's bigger than my head. They are huge. Look at that. And this is uh, an ERA ball valve. Um, I've got this one for Paul Smith. He's fitting four of them. And uh, instead of 125 quid, I do these for about 65 quid. By God, are they heavy? They weigh about six kilos each, six or seven kilos each. So it's a big old chunk of plastic. So if you're going to fit one, you've got to leave enough room, big enough for Skeggy's head and some to get in there. Um, I do believe they're about 270 mil off the top of my head. I haven't actually measured it, but they're around that sort of depth. So you need a fair old chunk of room to fit one. So if you're tight on space, you can fit a four inch slide valve which is nowhere near as big as Skeggy's head but does the job if you're tight on space they're a lot smaller probably about six or seven inches 150 200 mil something like that um, this is one I've got for doing a little project later and I've got the old uh, packer in there ready to go on to some normal waste pipe rather than pressure pipe but I wanted to talk about ball valves because not a lot of people well some people know some people don't but I thought I'd go through it 
a lot of people see them fighting with ball valves and they're really tight and there is actually a way of adjusting most of them so I don't know if you've noticed but this is this is off an easy pod this is a, an easy pod um, drain ball valve handle and uh, if you look quite carefully there you'll see that it has a crack running through it and that cracked taking it off and I don't know if you noticed but it has these two little lumps on the top and if you pop the handle off and take the front off the ball valve there's two little slots and you can pop that in the slots and use it as a key to loosen and tighten the friction on the ball valve so you can slacken it off a little bit if you're struggling to open it you can slacken it off a little bit and that will make opening and closing the ball valve the only trouble is as with this one over time they go a little bit brittle and someone's levered that one off to adjust the ball valve or to get some muck out of the ball valve um, and while they've been levering it off it's cracked and therefore the ball valve handle will no longer work and that's why you see people sometimes use a pair of pliers uh, if you go and look at Vince Twisted Koi he's just been uh, messing about with one of his because one of his did exactly this and he's actually used a pair of grips to open and close it until he can find a suitable solution these are incredibly expensive from uh, Evolution Aqua and uh, nobody else makes them for the EasyPod so the best way I've found is to manipulate the ball open, seal it closed and then put a slide valve the other side of it or another ball valve on. It's a lot cheaper than getting the part from EA. And that's what Vince is about to do on his easy pod for the uh, Tosai tank. <coughs> now ERA, <laughs> I wish I'd got a smaller one of these. But ERA in their wisdom have come up with a way of doing it without removing the entire handle. And I think this is a great idea. So you see this grey part here. This is actually the key for when you take this part off and you find the, the little uh, tensioning nut inside. And all you do is you pop that off, preferably not throwing it on the floor. And there's your key inside there. So you don't have to remove the entire handle. And they do this on, on all their slide valves, on their inch and a half, two inches, three inches, four inches, one tens, everything. So you don't have to remove the entire handle. If you do need to re remove the handle, there's a little screw in the middle. Oh, I shouldn't do that with my shoulder. Um, there's a little screw in the middle, which will... Uh, facilitate the handle coming off but that's brilliant because you don't risk breaking the handle and uh, I think that's a cracking way of doing it certainly better than getting a screwdriver under it and potentially cracking your handle so I just wanted to run through that real quick um, I'll just take the union off here and then I can show you what this slots into. So on the inside of here, you've got your, your O-ring. But you see these slots here and here? That's what your key goes into. And you can adjust the tension on the ball valve. Now if I tried to open this ball valve now, I'd find it incredibly difficult, especially with the shoulder. But uh, if I slacken that off just a little tiny bit, eighth of a turn, something like that, that will become nice and loose and you'll be able to open it nice and easily. So, little top tip from the Skeggy and from Kobe. Little slurp for Kobe. Another mug for the collection. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys uh, get back to whatever you're doing and. Uh, not hearing me waffle on about something that most of you will probably know but there'll be one or two people that don't and uh, if you've never seen a four inch ball valve in the flesh uh, I suggest you go and have a look at one before you buy one because they are huge 
Catch you later. Ciao.